some reported glitches at the West Lafayette Payless voting site over the weekend. Several voters say when they clicked on the Democratic candidate, the machine selected the Republican one instead. Those we talked to were able to fix the problem, but they worry about those who may not have noticed. It happened two or three times. I tried it several times. There was definitely some kind of an issue with the touch screen on that machine. When several voters tried to click on a Democratic candidate, it marked the Republican one instead. Same thing with the public question at the top of the ballot. Kept pressing the yes to get the yes to go away, and then finally I was able to enter my no vote. On the current ballot, Republicans are listed first and Democrats are listed second. It's determined by the votes for Secretary of State. That race determines the ballot order. But some Democrats worry that order could go in the Republican candidate's favor if people aren't careful. Well, the reality is that not everyone is, is diligent. But Krista Coffey says they should be. We can only do so much. Tippecanoe County Election Board Chairman Randy Vonderheide says they tested all of the machines at the West Lafayette Payless, but were unable to confirm the problem. We could not demonstrate or simulate the complaint. The uh, equipment was properly calibrated and seemed to be functioning uh, as, as it's required to function. But those who say they experienced it aren't convinced. They would like to see these machines replaced before the next election. Right now, the next update is scheduled for 2021. I think that's too far away. That's several elections from now. I don't know why we have to wait until then. Coffee says that's going to be a question for the next Tippecanoe County clerk. Right now, she says your best bet is to review your ballot before you click cast. Because once you hit cast ballot, there's nothing we can do to resolve the issue. Well, so far, the issue has only been reported at the West Lafayette Payless site. Coffee says don't be afraid to ask for help if you experience any problems during the voting process. Well, Indiana could join several states.